everybody. Never seen so much wild holly. Every turn, it seems, there's another one. So today I'm venturing out on foot. I'm marrying the inappropriate artist. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's all over this wild holly. Never seen it like this. I guess, you know, further north it's a little less prevalent, or maybe it's just Connecticut that doesn't seem to have as much. Um, the mountain laurel is way more prevalent as a low-growing evergreen. Um, or shrub evergreen, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. So. Ooh. Here's something. Oh, FedEx. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Essential workers, hard at work. Looks very much like phlox. So maybe it's a wild phlox. I don't know. I'll have to look it up. If anybody else has a clue, I'd love to know. So this is more of an equestrian trail. And I gotta watch my footing, otherwise I'm gonna fall flat on my face with the mud. But I suppose that would make for good content, wouldn't it? <laughs> Coming up around the corner. Oh, I can smell it already. Cause I'm a chewing on a honeysuckle vine. Now I wish I really had smell a vision. This is amazing. Smells so good. I think it's honeysuckle. Might be jasmine. It's really quite a nice spot here. Um Oh my God, there's so much of it. I think it is honeysuckle. It's probably Japanese honeysuckle. Maybe not, I don't know. If somebody knows, put it in the description below because there's lots of it. I mean, lots of it. Wow. Ooh, dogwood. Love seeing the dogwoods pop up in the fo in the woods there. There they are. I don't know if it'll focus. Nope. But next to beautiful longleaf pine, all sorts. This is a really varied woodland in here. I'm enjoying this diversity. Yeah. Trying to keep it simple, right? During this time. Ooh, hello. So that looks like possibly a river birch. They are beautiful trees, this one here. I love the bark. So see the bark? really kind of cool. I love the spotting, the way it sheds its bark. And then as they get older, they just become solidly this, the lighter tone. So, I'm learning a little bit about the native plant life around here. And a uh, little pollinator big fat pollinator. Ooh, big fat pollinator. I love me a bumblebee. So I've just been keeping to the perimeter of the park along the tree line and listening to the birds. Ah. Oh. Look at this little grove of groovy girls, huh? You know me and my naked trees. Look at that. Some 
look at that and see just a mess. I see a bunch of groovy dancers having a fabulous time. I can hear the music, can you? Look what I came out to. Oh. Think llama? Maybe alpaca? I think llama. Hi, buddy. How you doing? It's like, I'm posing. <laughs> Alright, now it looks like we're walking into more of a pine grove here. Exciting for me. I love pine groves. So if we're in pine country, there is a chance maybe for lady slippers. Ooh, that would be a find, wouldn't it? Curiouser and curiouser I get. So I'm noticing that this seems like very young growth. I know I said it before, but it's even more obvious to me is even like there's the section of what looks like possibly older pines um, and there have been a couple of big fatty trees along the way oh there's a brook or a river stream down here um, wish I could get closer but I am the ticks around here I mean I'm used to ticks in Connecticut and you know, uh, but down here, the ticks that I've seen are so minuscule that I am like chilling on the path right now. So that's the last thing I want to be worrying about. Ah, oh, coming back out to the playing field again. Let's see if we can find another way into the woods. So back out on the playing field again, but not for long because what? Here's another path into the woods. <coughs> oh, well there you go. For those of you who didn't know, I am a championship belcher. Baby dogwood! What? Little baby dogwood. Oh. Look how pretty. Oh, just gorgeous. I'm gonna have to take a picture of them. Just had a honeybee try to pollinate me. <laughs> Kept, he's a little sleepy, I think, because it's still a little chilly out. This is certainly, ooh, now we have some, <gasps> wow, you got to check this out. I think those are holly. They look like it. Yeah. So check out these giant hollies, right? I know, it's so cool to see them so big. I mean, I'm just so used to seeing little holly shrubs, you know, up where we are. Ooh, somebody's down there making a racket. Probably deer. I probably startled them. So again, up where I grew up the, uh, in Connecticut, most of the hollies I've seen have been garden, in gardens. Hoping to catch a glimpse of whatever it was. Yeah. It sounded bigger than a squirrel, so who knows. But I've come on to some older growth woods. And oh, it's so incredible. Ooh, that looks like bittersweet. 
wish I, or it could be. No, it could be, no, no, no. I don't see the leaves, it's hard to tell. So I didn't find a map of this park, just kind of following the trail around. I figure I can't get too lost, right? Everything is uh, pretty well marked with these little equestrian signs that you see over my shoulder there. Um, and, you know, nice. It's a perfect day for this, actually. Really enjoying everything I'm seeing so far. It's my first time really out exploring on my own. And, uh, so I don't have anybody to ask questions. I could ask my phone, I suppose, but I kind of like the fun of going back, looking at it, and um, looking things up in my identification book. It's fun. It's a little fun thing for me. I just came across a baby holly. Oh, it's so cute. It's just a wee one. Just a wee little one. See, look, I'll put my, wait, here. I know. Maybe Jacko will give you a little perspective. There you go. You can see how little it is. like can't tell whether what's next to it was once a holly or not but fun stuff beautiful soft green mossy path oh wow I love the softness of the moss under my feet feels so good ooh a little side trail. Finally, something to investigate a little bit. Ooh! Alright, can't pass that up. Look at this gnarly root. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Another little baby holly. Oh. So this path, I'm going to try this one out and see where it takes me. Look at this big patch of blue it's Hello, babies. Look at them. Gotta keep moving. I just heard some mosquitoes. If I stop, they'll get me. Oh, they may have already gotten me. <laughs> wow. That is a huge holly. Wow. Look at this. This is the holly tree. I know. It's so beautiful. I am just in awe of the massiveness of these beautiful hollies. I think I hear water. Ooh, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we'll get lucky and there will be a river down here or a creek or something. So here's another river birch, I think. See what I mean? It just becomes that lighter tone all the way up. 
Wow. Definitely getting into a more boggy area. Ooh, look at that beautiful mound of ferns. And all the little ferns coming up, popping their heads. Oh. Oh. Does look like we have a little creek down here. Oh, definitely little creek. But obviously you can see. Well, maybe. No. You obviously can't see yet. But now. You can see where the, when the spring rains really hit and they hit hard, the erosion from the rush of water that comes through here, pretty incredible. That always amazes me. Now see, these are the guys I kept mistaking for bluets the other day. Oops, I knew they weren't bluets, but I'm not sure what they are. I have to look them up. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. <laughs> Just came up on this beautiful meadow. That in the summertime is gorgeous with all of its tall grasses. Mm. I've really enjoyed this walk today. And I think this is a stand of May apples. I think they're called. And I can see buds, but no blooms yet. They're going to open soon. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, they're coming soon. Well, I'm going to say now that uh, I'm going to put my camera away and enjoy the rest of this walk. So thank you everybody for joining me today in the Oak Ridge Forest or Oak Ridge Park um, in Hughesville, Maryland. Oh, but before we go, we have a little bridge of interest. We'll let the bridge take us out. Ah, oh, now I think I got squeeze on the brain. <laughs> take it to the bridge, just throw it overboard, see if it could swim back into the house. <laughs> I got the words wrong. Doesn't matter. Here's that creek again. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.